Hello, hello, friends. This is Sniz here, and oh god, this is gonna be quite, quite the experiment. Um, so I haven't recorded in quite some time, and now I'm back uh, with three months worth of, or like a month and a half worth worth of clips, trying to explain it to someone that doesn't even play the game. But you know, uh, isn't that just a joy? Uh, so in the background, you can probably see a bunch of like oddly figured demons and such, and I'm just trying to slaughter them. This is an area known as Blackgate City. Uh, it's home to Blackgate armor uh, and accessories, such as the Blackgate ring, which at the time of me recording this and hunting them was quite worth it because they are pro they will eventually become part of your drop gear set and in general would have just been good items as I needed to fill out all my slots. Uh, eventually, and actually now the new information is that these Blackgate rings won't even be used in either of your set so there's no really reason to hunt them and especially since they're such a pain in the ass to hunt they have a low drop rate and then i mean you can get a bunch of different type of black gate items and then even so they might be or you might not get the ring so it makes it a pain in the ass but the general synopsis is there are five bosses total each having a chance to drop a black a black gate piece of uh, item and there's three on the outer layer and two on the inner layer. They're both on different timers of 15 minutes each. So if you kill the outer three bosses, it'll take 15 minutes for, the, for them to respawn. If you kill the inner bosses, five minutes after the outer bosses, it'll take another 15 minutes for the inner bosses to respawn. So you can get them in sync and start timers, keep track of where they are and such. Uh, Honestly, keeping tabs on when they should, when the rough estimate of when they're going to respawn is going to help you the most if you do decide to hunt down these rings. Uh, other than that, I mean, you can use the face accessory, but now that we're getting new information and we're getting new items introduced very soon, there is really no need to hunt down Blackgate gear. It's kind of like, oh, if you have nothing else to do you can go for it but uh, at the time it was worth at least looking into but i didn't even end up using any of it uh i will see you in the next clip hello again uh in this portion of the episode uh we're going to be tackling quite a long qu uh quest line it contains the wings of fate which are probably the best wings you're going to get uh, best cape you're going to get your hands on as they have the base base stats of a tyrant cape uh but don't require you to fight hard magnus which as a solo progression player uh is way was or is still currently way out of my uh capabilities and damage damage range uh so it involves a long quest line where you are supposedly helping a a, a pair of sister a sis, two sisters and one's like a half demon or something like that so the goal is to like her blood doesn't work together like her genetics make her really sick and frail so you're trying to find solutions to help her remedy her sickness but as you explore you meet all kinds of kooky characters and wacky demons and such and they t help you along the way you're trying to recover like these four stones and at the end of the quest you find out you were tricked oh no and you fight a boss and then you fight another boss and oh god one of the bosses the raven boss that you have to fight for the last stone oh he is a pain uh but at the end of the quest you get a the wings of fate which is a cape you can also disable the effect using your inventory and that'll make it a transparent cape uh but at, it has weapon attack and magic attack um that applies up till 150 so at 150 you get the most benefit and at level 150 it's equal to a tyrant cape uh base so i mean it is a very good substitute for the tyrant cape especially if you're nowhere near to be nowhere near uh, being able to take on hard magnus or if you can't get a carry uh, other than that the quest is quite long and was it worth it uh, 
I can't answer that honestly because I hate this pre-quest. I mean, I hate this quest line. I read through it and I was like, wow, that was actually decent. But then you fight the raven boss and you're like, wow, I want to shoot myself. So, you know, you take what you can get. Uh, it is quite the long quest line, as said before, and I'm going to continue to note that. But it has a well worth it uh, reward at the end. You can go a step further and do like this thing called Threads of Fate, which apparently allow you to upgrade the wings or something like that, or like get special features added to them. I don't, I haven't really looked into it, but apparently you can get like percent all stat and like percent attack added onto it, which can be super helpful, but I don't know how long or how hard it is to get those added on. Either way, you're still gonna be ending up, you're never gonna use this cape end game you're you're gonna switch to a tyrant and eventually transpose that onto a sweet water which we will get to eventually in the future far far away